Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Chef Christy and today I'm going to show you how to make a very, very quick and easy, delicious and healthy taco bowl. Now this is a meatless recipe. However, I am going to show you an option that you can include chicken if you prefer. Now, if you are new here to my channel, I do share delicious recipes every single Monday and Thursday. So make sure that you subscribe and you will also want to hit that little notification bell. That way you'll know as soon as I upload a new video. So a big reason why I love this taco bowl is because of how easy it is. You can meal prep this ahead of time and I love that. And it's perfect for lunches and dinners and the versatility. You can add your favorite vegetables to this taco bowl just by adding some taco seasoning and it is delicious. And like I said, if you prefer, you can add some sliced chicken and I will show you both options today. So here is everything that I will be using today. Now you will want to use uh, a brown rice or a quinoa, but today I actually found this packet, this organic packet of seven grains that you can cook in the microwave or on top of the stove, and this is going to save me a lot of time, and so I'm going to use this today. I'm also going to be using my black bean and corn salsa, and I have, I will put the link to the recipe for this, and then I'm going to be using cauliflower and sweet potato that I'm going to roast in my oven. And then I'm going to uh, make a avocado sauce to go over. So I've got avocado, some chipotle, and a lime and cilantro, olive oil, and then also some taco seasoning. And I will give you uh, my taco seasoning blend that will be in the description box below. So I'm just going to peel and slice my sweet potato. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut this into cubes. And then I'm just going to cut some cauliflower. And I'm just going to cut these into bite-sized pieces. They are going to roast in the oven. Alright. I'm going to add them to a bowl with my sweet potatoes. I'm just going to drizzle about a tablespoon of olive oil and toss to coat my sweet potatoes and cauliflower. And then I'm going to sprinkle some seasoning, some of this taco seasoning, and just, just toss it until it's nice and evenly coated. Then I just lined a sheet tray with some aluminum foil and I'm just going to spread this out and put this in a 425 degree oven for about 20 to 30 minutes or just until everything is nice and tender and kind of golden brown. So while my cauliflower and sweet potatoes are in the oven, I'm going to make a delicious avocado sauce to drizzle over my taco bowl. Okay, so to my little mini food processor, I'm going to add my avocado. And I'm just going to add this directly into my mini food processor. So I'm going to add both halves. Then I'm going to add the juice of a lime. And then I'm just going to add some cilantro, just a, just a few pinches of these leaves. And then I have some chipotle um, in adobo. And what I do is I buy a, a can of it and I never use all the cans. So I take um, portions of it and I'll freeze it in little mini bags. And so that's what this is. So I'm just going to add just a, just a little bit of that. And that's completely your preference and how spicy you want it to be. But I just want it a little spicy. Then I'm going to drizzle in some olive oil, about a tablespoon. 
I'm also going to add a pinch of salt. And then I'm just going to blend this up until it's nice and smooth and creamy. And you can also add a little bit of water as well. We want it to be relatively thin so that it'll drizzle nicely. So now I'm just going to pour my avocado sauce into a dish. And this is so good over salads. It's so creamy. And like I said, you can add as much water and oil that you want to try to get the however thick or thin that you want it. It's completely up to you. So my sweet potato and cauliflower is out of the oven. I have put my seven grains in the microwave. So now let me show you how to put this delicious taco bowl together. Okay, so I found some salsa in my refrigerator, so I added that to my Taco Bell. Taco Bell. I just said Taco Bell. <laughs> my Taco Bowl. And one thing else I like to do is I just want to add just some, uh, some mixed greens right on top. Because I'm going to blend this all together. And this just gives me some more greens added into my Taco Bowl. And I'm just going to mix all of this together getting that delicious avocado sauce in there. Let me take a bite. Mm. That is so good. And let me just say that sweet potato adds just a little bit of sweetness. You've got your black beans and your corn. And the cauliflower is so good as well. I really hope that you give this a try. I just want to sit here and eat it. But I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to add some sliced chicken as well. And I'm going to use this um, container here for your meal prep because you can add this, put this in your refrigerator and then take this to lunch with you. So let me show you how to do that. Now to make that chicken, all I did was take boneless, skinless chicken breast and I sprinkled that same taco seasoning on each side of the chicken and then I just placed it in a 425 degree oven with my sweet potatoes and cauliflower for about 15 to 20 minutes. So if you are meal prepping, you can absolutely use a container like this and then put everything together. Um, you can use chicken if you prefer. And then what I like to do is just to take a little bit of this uh, avocado sauce and put in a separate container and then there you go that's a lunch or a dinner for the next day so thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this video let me know what you think leave me a comment below and i will see you soon with more healthy recipes